Hello, I'm uh, Brian Mooney from Mooney Industries, a small boutique manufacturer in Canoga Park, California. Most of what we do is space work. Most things either fly on the space station, used to fly on the shuttle, and now go on the Orion project, going moon, Mars, and beyond. And we've been doing space work for about 30 years. We started out doing mostly tooling and things like that for Rocketdyne, and then got into building actual space parts for rocket engines and fuel systems been using a Micron now for four years it's on our second Micron uh, HPM 800 that we're using to build a very large valve that's about 21 inches in diameter 18 inches tall got a 12 inch throat on it that will feed actually the RS 25 inch pick the HPM mostly because it fit in building was the right size and had a big enough work envelope compared to its footprint so it was very effective size-wise and fit in Southern California, where, let's say, square footage is premium. Um, been very happy with the machine, did some very specific testing on it, and basically my envelope tolerance is within two tenths. If I can cut the same slot in five different positions, you can go look at it and check the part. Using Gibbs Cam since we started, the first part we did in the HPM was actually done in Hypermill. When we changed from one machine to another, we needed to do some modification. And I couldn't modify the Hypermill program, but what I was able to do was use Camplete and take the Gibbs program and the Hypermill program and marry them together and then type in G-code manually and get what I need. So the Camplete actually put out G-code that had all of the stuff I'd put in and then could verify what I'd done basically in three different programming styles or strategies, which are things I could not do with any of the CAD systems. I couldn't get a CAD system to do multi-moves to enter a part and multiple moves to get out of a part, just not too many approach angles. So I've been very happy with Camplete and my GF. In dealing with Camplete, there's been, let's say, some growth issues. I started out not having anything but very simple three plus two five axis work. And I went to extremely complicated five axis work. So as I was using the Camplete to verify the issues that I had, I would have a problem that was obviously something I did wrong, didn't understand the programming system, or Camplete was adding an offset to an offset that was already in my Gibbs system and it was running into the top of the spindle. I could take pictures of what my problem was, send it off to Camplete, and in Usually 24 hours, I had an answer back with pictures, explanations, what to change in the post, how to fix my post, and how to get what I needed. Other things that were, let's say, even though I, Gibbs had only had an inch of clearance, it was still too much for the machine. Camplete was able to change that and say, rather than make that half inch, uh, inch clearance, make it a half inch. So I could go into Camplete again, modify the post, and say, for this one line in the post, I only want to go up this high. After I got done with that, I could go back, reprocess it, and watch the whole thing run again so that I knew that I was going to clear when I got to my machine. 